Hey, so this video is primarily for hang glider pilots. I made a mistake during a launch and I want to share it with you in hopes that you won't make the same. What I did was I launched with my harness hooked to the glider, but I was not buckled into the harness. I'll show you the launch, I'll show you the terrible landing that I had as a result. I was very fortunate that it didn't turn out much worse. I think what the problem was, was I had a false sense of security. I felt like if I hooked my harness into the glider without fail, before I ever got into the harness, that I'd never launch on hook. And so that's what I did on this, this launch, as I always did. But when I started to buckle myself in, that's where my process fell down. I was preoccupied with things that had happened during pre-flight. And so I didn't think through the steps, and I didn't buckle myself into the harness. I even did a hang check, and I didn't catch it in the hang check. So I'll show you how that happened. This is the correct configuration the harness should be in when I go to launch. I have my leg loops uh, around me. I have a, my leg loop buckle is secured. Under this zipper, I have a chest buckle that's secured. And then I'm zipped down. Now when I went to launch, I had forgotten to do my leg loops. And I had forgotten to do my chest buckle. And all I did was I attached this zipper because I was preoccupied and I zipped it down and I felt secure, it's holding me secure. When I went to launch, all of a sudden my weight, of course the harness is hooked to the glider, my weight fell to my armpits here and when that happened, this zipper opened up to there after launch. I did a hang check in this configuration. And so I thought it was okay. Let me show you that hang check. So, there was the hang check. And I know now that it felt okay to me because I had a zip, my zipper was done here which supported my chest weight. And when I pushed with my feet against the boot of the harness, it raised my hips off the ground. And so I couldn't tell that my leg loops were unattached. A lot of pilots will pick up the glider until they feel the tension on their leg loops to be sure that those leg loops are attached. I'll show you after the video of the flight what I'm doing different to make sure this doesn't happen. But for now, let's go take a look at the flight. It was pretty scary. Here you go.
Hey, that was scary, huh? So, you know, I heard that the uh, definition of insanity is to continue to do the same thing and to expect different results. So I decided to make a change. And so now I've incorporated a formal checklist system when I fly. There's a lot of them out there. This is the one that I'm using. I want to thank Dan Schroeder for it, one of our local hang glider pilots here in Arizona. So it's a two checklist system. Here's a pre-flight checklist, and I'll give you copies of both of these at the end of the video, just for your reference. So once I'm done with pre-flighting and I get in my harness, then this is the final checklist, the one that I go through just before I walk up on the ramp to launch. And I read through this checklist, make sure I'm good to go. I roll it up. I slide it up here in the nose cone. It has a piece of Velcro on it, and there's also a Velcro on the back side of the nose cone and it's attached there. I'm aerodynamic and it's secure. Once I'm done flying and I go to break down, I peel the nose cone off and this checklist is permanently attached to the glider so it's there for the next flight. I hope you found the video to be uh, helpful. I think for me the main point is don't assume that just because your harness is hooked into the glider that you are properly buckled into the harness. You saw my hang check and it looked like I was good to go. So I hope that you have safe flying. I will see you again, maybe on the next mistake that I made. Until then, fly safe. See you soon. See you.